All right, guys, and welcome back. It is a few days later. I want to give a massive shout out to Z1 Motorsports for getting this part shipped out to me with in like less than three days. And you can see I got the new clutch master cylinder. It's OEM, straight from Japan. We got the original stuff because that is the best stuff. We're gonna jump straight into it, start changing this part out. It is pretty straightforward, it's nothing too hard. I have to go on the bottom and drain all the fluid out from the reservoir. As you can see, it's full and it is dirty, so it is a good thing. I will be changing this fluid, of course, and it will have nice fresh fluid and a nice fresh master cylinder. So to start, I took off all these push pins right here in this plastic piece and I can lift this up and get it right out the way. This is my ABS pump. Right under that is where the clutch master cylinder is at. You can see all the hoses and the line going to it. Like I said, you wanna start by draining all that fluid out, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift the car up, drain all the fluid. Going under the car, you can see here's the exhaust and the transmission. Right on this side on the transmission is the clutch slave cylinder. You wanna unscrew this bleeder fitting right here. It looks like it's an eight millimeter, something like that, and it's gonna leak all the fluid out. What would probably be smarter to do is just take off the banjo bolt right here that goes to the clutch line. I probably would do that else as well and just make sure you get all the fluid out, but either way it should work. Make sure that thing is completely drained. You can see on the bottom I have like a lot of dirt build up, so I will be cleaning that up before I put new fluid. But now we can begin our procedure and process of taking out the master cylinder. I'm gonna unscrew that hard line going down to the master cylinder, that one right there and take off that hose, and then go on the inside and start pulling that stuff off. Coming down here to the foot pedals, you go to the clutch pedal, and you can see those are the bolts that you need to take off. Okay, you have that one right there, and the other one that's on top. See that little clip? Pull that out and push that pin off, and then the master cylinder should be free. Once you have all those bolts and pins and everything loose, this slides right out. Here's the new, and here's the old. I have the black gasket here. I want to pull this off and put it on the new one. Most likely, I will still have to adjust this again once it's in the car, but try to match up the threads. I count the threads on the new one and the old one just to try to match the length so you don't have to adjust it so much. But I'm pretty sure either way you're going to have to adjust it because it is a brand new one and that's a used one. It's very old. That's actually the original one. Um, so most likely it's going to have some sort of adjustment needed. But now I'm gonna drop this in. Before I put the hose on, I'll go ahead and put it in and bolt it all up. It'll be a lot easier like that way instead of trying to force it in with the hose and kinking the hose and possibly ripping it. That's just trouble you don't want. This is what I have to do so that I don't damage my freshly painted door. I just don't wanna take my chances and chip the door, scratch it again. Just got freshly painted, but it is dirty. Maybe after this, I'll give it a nice wash and wax. Man, I wish Nissan would've added lights down here. So you can see what you're doing. But I have to grab my phone to get light. You can see I got the inside of my reservoir cleaned up. It's not perfect, but it is way better. So I'm ready to add brake fluid. I got the lines all hooked up and the hose. Everything is good to go. You might be questioning what brake fluid I'm going to use. It on, on the top of the reservoir, all it says is to use any sort of brake fluid. They recommend using DOT3 or DOT4. Um, what I used before was DOT5.1 mold tool. Um, that's for high temperature, high heat. I think this time what I'm gonna put in is regular car quest, wherever, dot three, brake fluid, this should work just fine. So I'm gonna drop a little bit in the reservoir right now, raise the car, and let that old fluid come out of the lines. I'll close off the bleeder fitting, and I'll go get a hand so I can have someone help me bleed this system. Spin probably about 20 minutes after I recorded that last clip. I got the whole system bled with my boy Yondel, shout out to him for giving me the hand. We got the whole system bled, all the air is out of the lines, but we were having an issue just like I was having before where the clutch pedal would stick. It would not return all the way back up. So I had to adjust that fork. Like I told you guys, I might have to adjust it. Well, I did have to adjust it because the clutch pedal would, it was feeling good, but it would not return all the way back up. It would get about halfway and stick and we had to pull it up. But now if I go in here, you see my clutch, I push it all the way down and it returns all the way up just like normal. Where before it would like get stuck like right there halfway and it would have returned all right so i'm recording this video on my iphone because my camera died and i can get a way better angle with this the mic's not in the way but you can see there's the fork that is adjustable what i did is instead of taking the whole fork off and 
taking the pin out again i unscrewed the locking nut and as you can see that stem right there is adjustable so i literally just grabbed my finger and adjusted that instead of taking the whole thing apart and pulled it as far as i could it doesn't have that many threads on the fork but that's what it takes or that's what it took to adjust my pedal and now i push the pedal all the way and it returns all the way back up so we should be good on that as you can see i got this duct tape i gotta get that rubber grommet or even a bolt and nut so that i can push this sensor in to start every time i start the car i always have to reach down and push this button in and it's kind of getting annoying now the car is completely done the clutch pedal is bled and it's adjusted to the proper specs so we should be good now it's time to start this thing up and go for a quick cruise and see how the clutch performs so now i just got to take the car off the lift the only problem i'm having now is i got those cars in the way hopefully i can move them out the way so we can go and test this car and if it works um that'll be so amazing i finally have my car back i've been uh i miss this car a lot even though it hasn't been gone for that long it was gone for like three weeks before this happened and now it's gone for like a week so it's probably been a good month without this car sitting here it's gotten pretty dirty so i need to give it a good wash and wax because if you guys don't know i did just pick it up from paint it got freshly painted new 370z nismo front bumper freshly painted the fender the whole side the door the all kinds of stuff got painted the spoiler it just needs a good wash and polish and wax and all that good stuff that way it can really pop and shine clutch pedal feels way better i can go into gear brakes are gonna squeal because they're cold i'm just worried about scraping my front bumper but i should be good i don't have somebody eyeballing me go slow Okay, we didn't rub, that's a good thing. Oh my gosh, this is so close. I'm going in between two Supras. Look at this. Got this one here. And I got the I got the other one right there. to go through that doesn't look like nothing crazy but it was pretty tight let's see how she feels I tell you the clutch pedal to release it it does feel different it's not the same before so I got to get used to this a little bit Feels nice. Yeah, it feels pretty smooth. Not too shabby. I feel like the release point is very weird, but it's like, it's not weird, it's just I gotta get used to it. I got a brand new master cylinder and I adjusted it. It is a different adjustment than the old one. Like it's way out and the old one was way in. So that's probably one of the reasons why I was having that problem with the clutch pedal not wanting to return all the way back up before too. Cause I was having that issue before. This cruise is nice. I think I got my car back. Go to six. Smooth like butter. Game is off point, but uh, it's something to get used to. 
I think we had success. The car is driving smooth, going through the gears just fine. It's just uh, the release is a little bit higher than before, so I have to get used to that. But I think we did it, boys. I think that I can finally say that my car is officially back. I'm so excited to have this thing back. I get my nice gas mileage back and I was just thinking about it. I'm not used to this clutch pedal probably because I've been daily driving Tina, which is the boosted Toyota pickup. I've been using that truck every single day. And the clutch differences from this car and that car are like crazy. This one's a lot more stiff and the release point is like on both of them completely different. And it's just like, it's hard to know every clutch of every car. Every car is different. Look at this thing, finally got it back. I think it's time to give this thing some love. The Nissan Bash finally came in, but I have to paint it before I put it on. My wheel wells are in, something I might do pretty soon. I need to install both wheel wells. As you guys know, on Instagram, I posted a picture of me bumperless, but I drove the car on the highway and completely destroyed both of my wheel wells. It was pretty bad, so I had to order two new ones. I think after that, what I'm gonna really work towards is some new headlights. They're yellow and cracking and they're just, these are the stock ones. This is now, I mean, as you guys know, this is my daily driver, but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Pretty soon, I will have a new daily driver. So that'll be a video coming pretty soon. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I got a lot of cool stuff coming for my channel. Merch also dropping pretty soon. Uh, something I've been working on behind the scenes for quite a long time. It's just very hard and it's a long process to get stuff done like that. It's a big step that is, um, takes time to step. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and I'll see you guys soon.